name is Pavel. Uh, my company is Apodil, and uh, I started this company because I have been in mobile apps publishing business since uh, 2011. We published over uh, 3,000 apps on Google Play and App Store, and uh, we started Apodil as an in-house solution to optimize uh, the way we monetize our apps to achieve higher revenues from ad networks. Uh, so we started the, as an in-house solution and when we were able to improve our earnings up to three times, we decided to make a public product so to make it available for everyone. Excellent stuff. So we're here at PG Connects in San Francisco. Um, you know, what is it that you're trying to uh, get out of, a, out of an event like this? So, frankly speaking, this is our first event here in the US. Okay. We tried several events, uh, international events, which went uh, quite good for us. Uh, people valued uh, what, what, what we provide our service. Uh, so now we are just trying to get acquainted with the uh, with the U.S. market. You know. Yeah. How how uh, challenging is it to to approach a market that isn't within the region that you're actually based? Oh, we are actually based here in the U.S. Yeah. So okay. So it's so so. Is it difficult to uh, meet with developers, and is it is it is it a challenge to actually? meet with uh, sort of the people that you want to, to meet on a daily basis? Do you, do you find that face-to-face -face time useful? Uh, I think, I, I find this face-to-face uh, -face time useful a lot, uh, even though we do not convert leads right yeah. here at the conference, but uh, the goal is to establish a brand, Right. you know? We want to place that thought uh, in people's minds that we are the only right way to monetize your app. Mm. Because we made a great product, you know, we are trying to explain it to people. And the only way to explain it is communicating with people. Yeah. So that's why we are here. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, definitely. So um, let's talk a little bit about uh, trends within the games industry at the moment. Um, what do you think is the most significant trend within 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 monetization in mobile? Uh, well, speaking of trends in general in mobile, mm. in, in mobile and in games, I would definitely uh, stand out VR, virtual reality and uh, wearable devices. Uh, I think uh, it has huge potential and uh, I'm curious what's going to happen next. Speaking of uh, advertisement and monetization within games, uh, I think the, the biggest trend going on right now is uh, real-time bidding and RTB exchanges uh, because in mobile it is still very immature. The whole market is very immature. It, it is still being, you know, it is still forming. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think it's going to be trending a lot longer. Uh, do, you, do you perceive any difficulties in monetizing VR and smartwatch, that kind of thing, because mobile games, it's almost as if most people kind of have got a hand on, you know, you can insert ads or interstitials or video advertising, that kind of thing, but we've not really seen how putting an ad on an Apple Watch or into a Samsung VR, something like that, how that actually works. Well, I think the problem with uh, smartwatches and uh, VR is that the technology itself is not ready yet for uh, everyday usage, you know? Uh, I don't have a smartwatch yeah. and I don't have an Oculus Rift. So, and it's a little bit too early to uh, implement some kind of monetization tools for smartwatches or VR. So I guess this technology should become more popular first and then we'll, we'll see what's going on. But because I have a feeling that smartwatches and VR are gonna change. Uh, they're still, let me give you an example. Do you remember the first iPhone? Yeah. It was a completely different device from iPhone 6 that we got right now. iPhone 6 is something that you can uh, use to display advertisements. Mm. It's something that you understand well iPhone 1 is, is a completely different device. Same with smartwatches, same with VR. It's gonna evolve. So if you had to take a guess, how do you think VR, how do you think wearables will evolve? 
Uh, I don't know. I, I, I have no idea about it. However, I can give you another uh, idea how I think uh, advertisement is, is going to evolve. So have you, have you ever seen uh, banners on the street? Yep. Like you walk by the bus station and there is a banner. So I can't wait for the moment when those banners get interactive. So they take, take a picture of you, they recognize you as Peter yep. from England, uh, who is interested in gaming and stuff like that, and who's flying somewhere next week. Yep. And then they display an advertisement specifically for you very targeted mm. you walk by all right next person who's the next person that I'll show you another okay that is something that I can't wait to happen